another episode of the Local Business Doctor series. My name is Lorraine of District 32. District 32 has partnered with Wanneroo Business Association and West TV to bring you a Local Business Doctor show, sharing with you tips, hints and advice on building better business. I'm here today in Wangara and today we are focusing on a sustainable skip bin hire business, Greenwise Skip Bags and Bins. We're here to meet the owners today, Candice and Charlene, to learn about what they need to know from the business doctors to grow their business. How you Hello, going? welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Hi, how are you Charlene? going? I'm very well, thanks yourself. Good, thanks. So you guys have just drove this um, charming big skip <laughs> into the drive. Where have you guys been? We have just come back from the tip to do okay. one of our drop-offs. And that's what you do every day? Just about, yeah. yes. Just about. Tell me then, what is your business? What is Greenwise Skip Bags and Bins? Well, we essentially a skip bin company. So sort skip of, bin hire? Yeah, yeah okay. we skip bin hire. We have um, our bins, uh, which are three cube, and we also have a two cube bag that we also drop off. And then our business has quite a, a um, strong focus on sustainability. So we try and recycle a lot of what comes out of our skip bins. That's a bit different. Yeah. Would you say recycle stuff that comes out of the bin? What kind of stuff are we talking about? Well, we get a lot of cardboard and soft plastics, that sort of thing. But then again, we also get a lot of usable items, um, household items, toys, clothes, um, electronic goods. A lot of people, when they move and they're just trying to purge their house so they can get on to the next one, a lot of it lands up in our skips or they just don't know what to do with certain items. So even if the electronics are broken, like TVs and that, instead of sending it to landfill where it can leach harmful chemicals into the earth, we'd rather send it to an e-waste um, facility where they'll recycle, break down it and recycle those components. Tell me, um, how did two lovely ladies get in the skip bin hire business? <laughs> Well, it uh, all started about a year ago when we were looking for something to do. Both of us were at home and a little bit bored, so we were looking okay. for a business um, <laughs> opportunity. This is, was something that I had seen previously, and when we did some Google searches, we realized that it wasn't available in the country, and we decided to bring a unit in. It's quite a competitive market. I mean, you see a lot of skip bins out there. I think we have a, a bit of an edge that um, we use our um, two cube bags, which is a bit different. Not everybody needs a skip. No, no. and also the bags are easier um, on on certain surfaces, they're not as damaging as say a steel skip, they can be moved around, so if you're doing a garden clean out, you can actually move the skip around instead of taking your wheelbarrow to the skip which will be on your verge. We've only been running for about five months, it, okay. took, a, it took some process and time to get the trailer engineered for Australian standards. Well, well done. <laughs> you look pretty sorted for five months, you know, that, that's some stripes that you've earned there. But who are your customers? We're focusing mainly on the domestic market, um, okay. any people that are moving, um, moving into a new house and just wanting to get rid of some of their stuff that they've got in the, their current house. Um, we also have wanting to focus on declutterers and cleaners. Can you show me around maybe some of your bags or where you source some of these um, jewels <laughs> that, you, that you get from the, the skip? Yeah, sure. sure. So this is where it all happens. This is where it all happens. First of all, I'm dying to see some of the stuff that you get at the bids, but show me one of your bags that, that you would use okay. to um, get on a replacement for the skips. <coughs> so, so this is the bag. It's a two cube bag, so it's two, wow. two meters long by one meter wide and one meter high. They're pretty easy to put up. You just okay. need to put down the sides to reinforce it. pretty fast and it, for me looking at it as a potential customer it's much less frightening than the, the yes. bar and the skip. The whole bag can carry up to one ton so wow. it's it's just as good as a steel skip for the general um, domestic market. It's a great alternative to having a big skip in your front yard. Our bag is um, a prepaid service so you pay us we'll drop it off and then you have 30 days in which to load it and pick up. Fantastic. Which is great. I mean, when there's a storm or the weather is not great or, you know, something comes up in your life and you don't have those three days to fill your skip, 
um, instead of paying extra, you, you have 30 days. It's good to actually have a look and see what you guys are doing, but I'm just dying to see what sort of, you know, goodies that you're getting out the, the recycle bins. Um, show me what you guys are recycling. Okay, well, we recycle a lot of metal and cardboard and soft plastics that would normally just sit in landfill. I mean, um, all steel and metal is easily broken down and, and made back into steel parts. So um, this is this is great to keep out of landfill. Some of the other things that we found um, is some gold. Um, oh, people some, are throwing out gold. <laughs> some gold earrings. Wow. Some bracelets. Wow. Um, and a little bit of uh, bling. Kitty's, Kitty's bling. Um, some of the other items that we found quite often. I think are, it's all brand new. Do you with your own craft sets, um, all brand new, still in the packaging, never opened. Wow. Set of pens, never opened, all was heading to landfill, which we've obviously saved. So I can really see why you guys would be, um, not, well, you're not inclined to just throw things out. No, and you want some to get of the back. items are still brand new. Um, these are just a couple of items that we have pulled out, um, little kitty's toys. Um, Make some little kid happy at Christmas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. So you got a massive range of, I can see books and we clothing, do, yeah, books, lots of fancy books. dress, clothing, and toys. Wow. Um, yeah. Quite a few tools, um, like uh, spades, rakes, all on that side. Just Brand like new socket sets. Garden leaf grabbers, wow. never used, still got the zip tie attached, <laughs> socket sets. Wow. So there are no limits to what you can um, recycle or, or what is it they say one man's gold is another man's <laughs> rubbish but um, no, I think what you're doing is really really important I think you've got a great story you've got a unique business I think it's great that it's um, two females who are running this business but it's five months old even though you're experienced business owners yeah. in different angles I'm sure you guys have got some problems um, that every business owner has in the first year um, I would love to get into the nitty-gritty and hear what problems you're experiencing and what it is that you would like to be answered by our business doctors can we get acquainted yeah you're ready to go yep. yes <laughs> let's go what are your goals for the business what are your goals next week and five years time so long and short term goals what are, what are you looking for when we originally started the business the whole idea with, with the trailer it would be that the model would be easily franchisable the model of having a small business that was able to do three and two cube skips without having a huge truck um, could be scalable um, and quite um, reasonably priced um, for people coming off the mines or people that are heading into retirement to to build a, a small little lifestyle business up for themselves. So that is ultimately our goal is to franchise the business. Our goal is is sustainability. So our whole business has to be built on a model where where right from from pickup to end product uh, the, you can see the journey the journey of where the stuff we pick up goes. Yep. So that that's what our, our, our goal is. And then uh, obviously we're looking at businesses around sustainability. So possibly um, consulting um, with small business, how to, how to make their businesses more sustainable. You've got your business, you've got your business model, you've rebranded, you know what you want, you've got a firm path, you know you're on the right track. It's very current um, in the sustainability at the minute. You're on the business doctor's show though and you're looking yeah. for some help and advice on specific questions or areas of your business. So what would be one of the areas of questions that you would like the business doctors to ask? We're needing some help with marketing and okay. we'd like to get our name out there. We're not too sure what the best way for us to get ongoing business Businesses. We need help with our cash flow, just in terms of just like building. every other business. <laughs> that's right. Just in terms of building okay. the business. I mean, as as anyone that's gone into business knows, you, mm. you say you think you're going to spend X, and you land up spending five times X. You know, yep. that's how it works, unfortunately. And we just we need to look at engineering another trailer. Um, with this trailer was our prototype, so we're happy to to use it. But we think if if we're going to put it into a franchise model, there's definitely some improvements. We need to know also what sort of plans do we need to put in place now 
that is going to save us money in the long term with our franchising. You've engineered your own products, you've rebranded, you're talking about franchising, you're already on television asking four of the business <laughs> doctors what to do 10 years down the line. I absolutely love it. I would love to go and meet the business doctors and see what answers they have for your business. That sounds great. Right. So join us after the break when the business doctors dissect this local business and give Charlene and Candice the answers they need to grow and develop their small business. I found that there were quite a lot of businesses out there with various skips, various bags and all promoting sustainability. I'm not sure if those problems aren't already being solved by other businesses and I'm not sure if there is a niche here to create a profit. 